Hello everyone, Maida Bezeha with you again. And this is our final video on the topic of freshwater ecosystem services. We will close this session with a presentation on stakeholder engagement with the Freshwater Health Index, remember FHI for short, which can be useful when assessing freshwater ecosystem services. In the first part of this presentation, I present a few examples on how stakeholder engagement is done under the framework of the FHI. During an FHI assessment, stakeholders are invited since the beginning of the evaluation through a series of stakeholder meetings. During the course of usually one year, stakeholders are convened at least three times. The first one is to be introduced to the FHI framework and to answer two surveys. The second time that we meet is to present the preliminary results and methods as well as to get feedback on this to see if there is the need to adapt or change any of the calculations. The final time when we meet is to discuss final results and next steps. In the pictures here, you can see examples of meetings in three countries in Latin America, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. FHI assessments in these three countries were conducted concurrently. And in this slide now, you can see examples of the type of dynamics that happen during a stakeholder meeting. There is usually a mixture of presentations and group activities so that the concepts under the FHI can be assimilated and discussed. We also encourage that stakeholders are convened to learn how to do the calculation of the FHI indicators so that they can carry out future assessments by themselves. These pictures here are from an FHI training uh, with key stakeholders in the Guandu Basin in Brazil. In the next slides now, I would like to show how the FHI incorporates the stakeholders' opinion into the FHI results. There are two ways that stakeholder data is used in the FHI. One way is to complete the governance and stakeholder component, and this aspect will be covered in a following section of this MOOC. And the second way we use the stakeholders' opinion is to determine the relative importance stakeholders give to different freshwater ecosystem services and water governance aspects. And this is what I will cover in the next slides. In this slide here, I present an overview of the FHI method to incorporate stakeholders' preferences related to freshwater ecosystem services. The FHI uses weights to incorporate the relative importance stakeholders give to different freshwater ecosystem services. There are many methods that can be used to assess this. A common one is the analytic hierarchy process. In the case of the FHI, we are using what we call swing weights an approach that is also known as SMARTS or SMARTER. In this approach, we also use hierarchy because we have major indicators and sub-indicators. There are two steps to the weighting process. First, the stakeholder, the stakeholder rank and then rate. And finally, each stakeholder completes a online survey or the survey can be done on paper. This is an example of the actual swing exercise. 
we first provide definitions of the ecosystem services that are being covered by this specific survey. And here is an example of a set of comparison. In this example, stakeholders are asked to compare the three major freshwater ecosystem services of the FHI, which are, if you recall, provisioning, regulation, and cultural services. Stakeholders first rank services according to their importance, and this is based on their own perception. Then stakeholders provide information on how many times one particular service type is more important than the other. This is an example of the final result of a weighting exercise. You can see on the left that there is the relative importance stakeholders collectively give to the three main types of services. One can see that in this particular group of stakeholders, value is given much more to provisioning services than to the other two groups of services. And then on the right, there is the relative importance broken down to specific services in each of the three major groups of services. For the provisioning services, for example, stakeholders value water supply reliability much more than biomass for consumption. And this is another example of the final results from a weighting exercise. And this is the example from groups of stakeholders in three different countries in Latin America, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. And you can see that different groups of stakeholders can give different preferences to different ecosystem services. For instance, on the right, you can see that uh, stakeholders from Bogota, Colombia and Altomayo, Peru, they are valuing much more regulating and supporting service with respect to the other two groups of ecosystem services. Whereas in Guandu, Brazil, the stakeholders are valuing provisioning services much more than the other two groups. And on the left here, you can see the breakdown of the specific services being analyzed for each of the major groups of services, provisioning, regulating, and cultural services. Let's just take a look into provisioning services for now. You can see that in all three countries, the stakeholders, they are valuing much more water supply reliability in relation to biomass for consumption. And for cultural service, a similar pattern happened where stakeholders from the three countries, they're valuing much more conservation services with respect to recreation services. For regulating services, things vary a little bit depending on the country that we are looking at. In the next slides now, I'm going to show how the stakeholders' preference in terms of freshwater ecosystem services are actually incorporated into the results of the indicators of ecosystem services component. Here, you can see that there are the results for the three main services and the final score for the component of ecosystem services. So this is, here is the final score for the ecosystem services component. And these are the scores for each of the major 
Ecosystem Services Group. But if you do the math here, just a regular arithmetic mean, you can see that the arithmetic mean here is different than the value, the final value for this particular component. And how is that? This is because the final component score is a weighted mean using the weights from the weighting exercise. And here you are going to see how that happens. You can see here the comparison between the unweighted and weighted means. In this example, stakeholders valued the provisioning service much more than the other. You can see here, this is the weight given to the different groups of services. And you can see that regulating service had the lowest stock core. This pattern of different weights given to different groups is reflected in the result of the final score of this component. You can see the difference in means here. And this completes our video and closes our subsession on freshwater ecosystem services. Our journey together included topics on the production and sustainability, as well as valuation and quantification methods for freshwater ecosystem services. We also did a deep dive on how the Freshwater Health Index can be used to assess freshwater ecosystem services, taking into consideration trade-offs and the importance stakeholders give to different ecosystem services. On behalf of Ken Irvine and myself, we hope you all have learned a lot through this series of videos. See you next time.